Okay, I'll make a deal with you. I'll stop staring at you if you stop staring at me. <laughs> Say, Florida, how would you like to take this home with you? On the bus? <laughs> Why not? Let her look out the window. She'll enjoy the ride. Better let her hang out the window. <laughs> oh, by the way, Carol's friend is going to be spending the night, so would you change the sheets in the guest room? Right away, Mrs. Finley. Carol! Oh, Florida! Welcome home. Thank you. <laughs> Did you have a nice time? Oh, I had a wonderful time. Good. <laughs> Chris is staying the night. Could you put some men's hangers in my room? Sure thing, honey. Thanks. <laughs> I sure hope my bus is on time. <laughs> Something tells me this ain't gonna be no place for an innocent bystander. No, Chris is spending the night. Won't be too much trouble, Mother. Oh, no trouble at all, honey. Besides, it'll give Walter and me a chance to get to know him better. All right, but don't forget, he's got to get up early in the morning. Don't worry, honey. We'll have a very early dinner and then just a little talk, and then I'll make sure that you both get a good night's sleep. By the way, honey, speaking of Chris, do I hear wedding bells? Mother Chris and I care about each other a lot. We even think we're in love. As for wedding bells, only time will tell. Only time will tell. That's a lovely saying. <laughs> oh, then there's that other saying about time. It's later than you think. <laughs> Honey, if you want to put your things upstairs, it's the first room on the right. Oh, fine. You're using the good silver for Chris? Thank you. If he steals, we don't want him to think we're cheap. <laughs> it's all right with you, Mrs. Finley. I'll be going home now. Oh, of course. Good night, Florida. Mrs. Finley, I changed the linen in the guest room like you asked oh, me. Oh, thank you, Florida. And I put men's hangers in your room like you asked, Carol, <laughs> and made a best room win. <laughs> Why did Florida put men's hangers in your room? Well, why did she change the sheets in the guest room? Because they were dirty. <laughs> Mother, you do realize that Chris is staying so we can be together. Uh, uh, of course I do, honey. I wouldn't have it any other way. Say, Carol, you sure got a nice room. Um, <laughs> Uh, Chris, uh, Carol, why don't the two of you just go and sit down and relax, and I'll go into the bedroom and check on dinner. I mean, we... <laughs> Carol, your mother isn't uptight about my staying here, is she? No, my mother's the most modern woman I know. <laughs> uh, dinner will be ready in just a few minutes. Mother, you're not upset because Chris and I are staying here. I'm not? I mean, I'm not. <laughs> Are you sure? I mean, I can sleep in the camper. Oh, please, Chris, don't be ridiculous. Look, Carol, you've known me for 27 years. You know that I am a completely emancipated mother. So welcome to my home, Chris. And the two of you are going to stay together upstairs, for better or worse, and that's that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go back into the bedroom and finish dinner. <laughs> I'm not bothered. I want you to level with I me. I am not bothered. Why should I be bothered? I'm a completely modern mother. Carol is 27. Chris is 30. This is 1973. Oh, Walter. Walter, not under my own roof. 